Hello, I'm Karen Elgisma at the beautiful Alex Gulden Hall at the Victoria Conservatory of Music, and we are getting ready to celebrate the Accordion Festival. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, Shakespeare by the Sea, an interactive art piece that taps into technology, and James Green learns how to swing a golf club. All that and more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Hello, welcome to Go Island. We are at the Alex Gulden Hall at the Victoria Conservatory of Music. And we are getting ready for a huge, amazing, extraordinary festival, the Accordion Festival, which I know at first blush you think Accordion Festival, what's so special about that? But this is just an international phenomena that's been going on for how many years now, Raymond? First event was held back in 1938 in Paris, and um, except for the war years, has happened every year since. Unbelievable, and this is only the second time it's been hosted in Canada. Canada. Yes, second time, 1964, I think was the previous time. <laughs> do represent the world. We have contestants coming from all over the world. We have judges coming from all over the world. So yes, it really is a unique event to have here. All the schedules, timetable, and contestants details are all gonna be online, so everything's there for information. Oh my goodness. Um, you know, one of the things about living in this great city of ours is that there is so much to do and see, so many festivals to attend, and the Shakespeare Fest, Shakespeare by the Sea, is happening right now. Yes, the tent set up right on the ocean. You can only imagine Midsummer Night's Dream, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, it's enchanting. Our very own James Green caught up with them and uh, found out what makes this year unique. Thanks for that story, James Green. I live in Sydney and I am so pumped that the Shakespeare by the Sea Fest is gonna be coming to Sydney for the first time ever. We are also very honored that the Accordion Festival is back here in Canada for the first time in 50 years. Tell us what people are gonna experience when they come to this festival. Well, when they come to this festival, they will hear some folk music, they will hear some tango music, because that's all part of the music and part of uh, the accordion heritage. But what they will hear the most is classical accordion, jazz accordion, some French musettes, some very new uh, pop style accordion done on digital. Uh, pop style music done on digital accordions, some ensemble music, some orchestral music. There will be competition of world accordion competition, uh, world accordion orchestra competition, and um, they will just experience uh, accordion uh, in its best. Unreal. And you know, there's so much synergy happening here uh, with this fest. We've got Ballet Victoria, who will be dancing to accordion music. We have um, a parade happening. So get your tickets, go online, find out how you can be part of the, as you say, the Olympics uh, of the accordion world. It is really, it's, in, and it's amazing to watch, to listen to, and you will discover things you've never, I've never seen or experienced before. Um, now, speaking of music, all of us have a chance now with our little iPhones or our little smartphones to capture whatever we want. You know, we just sort of put it up there and, and own it. Well, there's a guy in Victoria that's taken this technology and turned it into an art piece. I'll let Jen Moranitz explain. Thanks for that story, Jen. Now, when we think about music, you think about technology, like the story you just saw. But music has um, really no borders. And when you think of accordion music, you wouldn't often think ballet. You might think polka. You might think uh, folk dance. Tango. Tango. But no, Ballet Victoria is going to be a part of the accordion festival in a big way, which I just think is so cool. Paul. 
tell us about what made you decide to team up with uh, the Accordion Festival and do something kind of different and unique. Well, uh, I met uh, Alex and Yelena actually last year. It was actually or even two years ago when I was looking for a musician to do exactly a tango piece. But you know, she's world class, her schedule is so busy, so it didn't work this time. And we talked about eventually doing a collaboration. And Alex uh, asked me if we wanted to be part of the festival uh, using Yelena's uh, CD and the music. So, you know, she gave me a copy, and the music is very interesting because it's not your typical accordion, it's actually the more contemporary accordion right. with interesting interpretation, a lot of feeling. probably going to be, I would say, for many, um, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see that kind of synergy between these yeah, the musicians so. and yeah. artists like you. Yeah, especially with just a solo accordion. So and, cool. Uh, but it's interesting, like the phrasing uh, that she has, it, there's breath, there's this syncopation, and it's, uh, it's very deep. So we, we have to do things that have a bit of emotion and change the tone. Brilliant. Everything you do, you, you approach with this out-of-box thinking. Amazing. So, so many reasons to come to the Accordion Festival. Just another one. Uh, we have to take a quick break, but go nowhere, because when we come back, more on the Accordion Festival. And we have a big summer trip idea for you that you're going to want to listen and hear all about. Thank you, Kim Rock. Now, Kim Rock has a sort of certain flavor of music that she loves, but what will amaze you about the Accordion Festival is there is so much diversity with this one instrument. Um, Tell me a little bit about some of the music people are going to experience when they come to the festival. They'll experience all sorts of music, all different styles of music at, at the highest possible level. You've been at Carnegie Hall in New York, haven't you? That's right. Yeah, and, and I'm now very, very grateful that I'm playing accordion, that they picked the accordion, because with the accordion, I can play whatever I want. I, I'm not stuck with only one style. I can play from classical, contemporary. Um, I can play popular. I can play even pop and dance music and hip-hop and rap and everything with all these digital accordions that exist today. I can play for the audience of all ages. And it's just lots of fun. people who don't understand the ins and outs of the accordion. Tell us about this instrument. Well, the accordion is one of the most expressive instruments there is, and they call it um, an orchestra, like a small orchestra in one instrument. Why do they say that? Because the accordion is the only instrument um, that has a full range of keys, like piano or organ, has, and with this range of keys, that's not only that, but it has the bellows that can express the music in a way that strings or wind instruments can, that piano can't. When I'm playing the accordion, accordion is actually the only instrument that I wear. It has straps that go all around my body. It's like wearing a dress. So when I put the accordion on me, the vibrations of my body reflect on the bellows and that creates this sound. If my body's still and stiff, that creates stiff sound and nobody can enjoy it because the music is stiff and dead. So if I move freely with the accordion, my, body, my, my body's energy reflects on the bellows and the music becomes alive and everybody can feel it. Now, if you wanna take a trip around the world, but you can't afford it, we have an idea for you. Our Arbutus RV Big Summer is heading to Winnipeg this week to show you how you can be part of a cultural event that goes on for like two weeks and really is like taking a trip around the world. The Accordion Festival will be happening throughout Victoria. Of course, the Alex Goulden Hall is one of the main venues. But go to their website, find out how you can get involved. This is really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It has not been in our country in over 50 years. Uh, it's just, it's a very special opportunity to see some world-renowned musicians and hear some incredible music. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas, feedback, or questions for us, Twitter, Facebook, email us, go to our website. You know how to find us, so stay connected because we love 
to hear back from you. Thanks for watching. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Men's Wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and Accessories. Hair Services provided by Salon J.